Now, let's talk about what's been happening in and around uh, the Royals because uh, on my show the other night, I tried to, as tastefully as possible, say one of the ways we can get past where we've been for the past few months is for the palace to be far more open and honest about what's actually going on when it comes to health care. And I know, say, with an American president every year, now this year, obviously, they did a physical and, and reported that Biden was still alive, but still, um, there's a detailed, you know, 28-page list of everything that's wrong with the president, right? I say line of succession, why not start to do that? But what did you think about how they handle it and sometimes how they respond to things opens up more questions. And again, I, I have no doubt, of course it's traumatic for the family, but if you or I had to deal with cancer, we'd tell our kids what it actually was. It was completely mishandled from the start. And with all due respect to Princess Catherine, who I realize is going through a lot, and I'm completely rooting for her full recovery, this was totally easily to anticipate. I mean, it was just obvious. She's literally the most famous woman in the world, at least one of the top three. And um, there's a great side to that. That brings all sorts of benefits into your life. And then there's a very negative side. Even I, Paul, if I got this kind of a diagnosis, would understand it would be very hard to keep it secret. Mm. I, I'm not one millionth as well known as Princess Catherine. She needed to be more transparent. And in all honesty, it was the people around her who I blame because I'm sure she had something else to deal with here, right? And I'm sure messaging around these issues is handled by the palace courtiers. Well, they blew it. They they blew this one huge. And then the Photoshop fail. First of all, don't even put out a photo because what you're doing when you put out a photo is asking people to comment on it. You are asking people to comment on it. That's why you post it online and comments are available. And whoever is responsible for that ridiculous fail, which they posted trying to make her look like the picture of health when they knew this admission had to be coming. She was about to start chemo. Uh, was just absolutely stupid. It was just a stupid thing to do. But then when it when it was outed, how dare they make her fall on her sword, right? How dare they make the, the cancer patient now come out there and be like, whoopsie, in this statement, which was extraordinary by any measure, but especially now that we know that she was suffering with this major health thing. I mean, why wouldn't they have a courtier fall on his sword and say, my bad, I did it, but I wasn't authorized to do I, whatever. They just they've been doing a very poor job of protecting her. And uh, I really hope that's not a harbinger of things to come for, you know, this treatment that she's about to go through and her ascension to the throne eventually or the co-throne, I guess, as queen. Anyway, long story short, they screwed up. They are going to have to be more transparent and honestly, missed opportunity. These two are not 80. She's 42. She is. She's in, in the age of social media. This is a chance for her to look out there and say to all the young people, more and more of whom are suffering from colon cancer, I don't know if that's what this is, could be ovarian, uterine, anything in the abdominal cavity, um, to say, me too, and it's okay. We're gonna go through it together, and I'm gonna help shine a light on this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage people to get tested, whether it's you know at an annual with a gynecologist or an annual with a colonoscopy at an earlier age. There was an opportunity here for her to really actually save lives and maybe at the cost of some personal embarrassment, and she muffed it. They all muffed it.